hello people so let's see what we'll be doing today so today we will be seeing this share button so let me first click on this so that you can see how this actually works right so to give you people a clear picture if you see this button closely so this will be flied out of the button whenever i click on this see then the x button appears from the bottom then whenever i op uh, click on this a circle from below of this yellow circle gets popped out to show these contents and the text appears one by one like this let's start building this okay so i have uh, made all the things ready already so if you see i have imported all the assets and i have a uh, imported all the packages that we will be using mostly we will be using google fonts and flutter svg and then i have imported the assets as well so let's get started okay so we will be using a stack widget here because we want this uh, yellow button at the top of that gray button okay so which is hidden behind this so we'll be using a stack so let me first size this so i need this to be in the center of the screen so we used the center here and uh, i need to make it at a confined size so that it will be aligned in the right position so let me do that To show you people how this actually is so i am have wrapped it in a container and i have given a red color to the container so let's run this and see what happens here we have the output so this will be our main container so this is this is the main space where our where our everything prevails actually so our widgets prevails if you see everything is contained within this container okay so let's uh, remove this and change it to size the box right okay so we see this gray uh, icon here so right so uh, we will leave this for now and we will create the yellow button first and then we will come to this uh, box let's complete this yellow button first so we have the first element with us i'm gonna wrap this inside a stack as well because i need a share icon at the top of this x icon so i'm gonna do this now by wrapping it in this, in this stack Now we will create the animation objects whichever we need.
I'm creating a default tween animation here because I want one variable to run from 0.0, .0 to 1.0. So I'm naming this as a default because that's the default run the Flutter provides us. So we need a image state now. Okay, so I have created all the animation objects that we need for our, our, our basic animation on this particular uh, yellow button actually. So let me explain it. So icon align animation will make the button aligned in the right position. First of all, it will be at the center of the screen. Then it will move to the bottom right. So that's what we have mentioned here as a value. And then uh, cancel icon scale animation. So this this will work on that X button, X mark actually. So this will scale from 0, 0, 0 to 0 0.0 to 30. And then rotate will start from 0 as an angle and it will go as far as math.py which is 180 degree. So in order to use this, we will have to use this particular input. So yeah, please don't forget that. Okay now so every property is changed accordingly but in order to in order to these things to work seamlessly we need the screens to be refreshed okay whenever this particular animation is being forwarded or being reversed okay so in for this we may need animated builder widget so um, let me create a builder here so we can change this as animated builder and context here if you, if you have a child so one other thing we have to provide is a listenable so this will be this will be given in the parameter as animation so i am going to use uh, the default animation as a listenable so whenever this particular animation uh, like starts as like starts being if it is forwarded or be it being reversed then this particular animated builder will help us uh, to, to do the screen refresh okay so this is, uh, so we have created all the animation objects but we never started our animation so let's uh, do that so let's create a triggers of this so this is a single button so we will have to check what is the animation progress uh, to trigger the animation accordingly so we will be checking that using the controller if controller dot, controller dot is dismissed is true okay so is dismissed in the sense it never started or uh, it is at the starting point of the animation so in this case i will have to move the animation forward as we have three values to check for the animation we are going to else if We are now choosing is completed if what is completed means is that the animation is complete uh, or uh, it ran from beginning to the end okay so it's now in the position of end so in this case we will have to use the controller to reverse this so that it will come back to its original position let's see how this actually works if i click on this this button animates this thing fly out and this X button comes from within. So this is what we wanted in the yellow button. So now anim let's animate this yellow button itself. So this yellow button is now at the center of the screen. So it should come to the bottom right. So let's quickly do that. Okay, so now this will do the trick. Let's check how this actually works. So let me click on this, this will come down. Okay, so this is what we wanted. Now let's start creating uh, the bottom container. So this 
so uh, here as well let me quickly create the animation objects that is needed okay now I have created the required uh, animation objects if you see here so these are the animation objects which we, may, which we might need contain a scale twin animation contain an align twin animation and then the border radius so let me explain how this actually works now so container scale twin animation starts from near 60 value so if it is if it is a 60 then you might see an a black border at the top of this yellow so so i i have downed it to one pixel and then it will go up to 200 pixels in at the scale wise and then alignment will work the same way so it's like this has to come at the right bottom and but the other icon has to go to the top so that's why we have a negative value as an endpoint here and then the border radius uh, border radius at first it will be 100 but uh, at the end of the animation it will become 15 so that it will nicely look like this right Okay, so now this should work perfectly fine. So only thing that is missing is the text inside this containers. So let's do that. So I am going to arrange all the elements in a vertical manner. So I am I will be using the column widget, and uh, as a precaution, this is going to shrink. So we will definitely need a single cell scroll view, so that this will not give us any error whenever it is shrinking its size. So let's see. Okay, I would like to create a new stateful widget for this because. Uh, it has its own animation so the first one has to appear first and the second one has to appear uh, second at uh, in some delay the third one is the same from the delay of uh, the second one so and uh, so on so we need a fashion like this so we will have to create a own stateful widget for this so that it will handle its animation in its own so let's uh, quickly do that so we will need a stateful widget whenever we need to have a con animation okay let me quickly define which are the things that we're going to need okay these are the things that we will be uh, needing as a, as a while creating shareable links so if we see we need an icon and we need a text and uh, we need an on tap property whenever it is tapped and then an index to find out in which index this is so that we can uh, load it accordingly with a delay I will have to create a field so let's quickly fix this okay, so it will be created here okay so this is a bool value 
and let first it will be false for sure okay A similar clone three different values so it will be two let me quickly uh, complete this okay i have completed this now so let's refresh the screen and see how this actually looks okay so this looks definitely good but there is no animation yet we will complete the animation part now right then we need uh, two other things because whenever we click on this this one uh, will fade out for us and then it has a, a scale animation as well if you see the output it was getting bigger from the left hand side So as I told you we will have to trigger it. So in this case the trigger will be inside the build method. Right so this is simple as that but there is one, con one other condition it's that I will need this first one to be up here first and then this to be done at second so there is some delay in between them and between them and in between the one and three as well so how to achieve that so that will be achieved here by uh, wrapping this with future dot delayed so let me quickly do it i'm gonna have a delay based on uh, the index of the index of the element so if it is the first one then it will have 200 milliseconds of delay if the second one then it will have 2 into 200 which is 400 milliseconds of delay okay so i will have something like this widget dot index Okay folks that's it, uh, I hope you all enjoyed it, let's meet in the next video.